Don't Cry Big Bird by Sarah Roberts Illustrated by Tom Lee Big Bird liked to play with his friends. But playing with them was hard for Big Bird because their jump ropes were too short. Their hopscotch boxes were too small. Their hide-and-seek hiding places were too little. Their seesaws came down but never went up. One day, Big Bird came home from the park by himself. I'm too big to play with my friends, he sobbed. He was so busy crying, he did not see his friend, Snuffleupagus. Don't cry, Bird, said Snuffleupagus. You are not too big. Their games are too little. Big Bird jumped up. He stopped crying. Do you really think so, Mr. Snuffleupagus? Yes, Bird, I really do, said Snuffleupagus. You are a very nice size, big like me. Then Big Bird had an idea. Hey, we're both big, so let's play together, said Big Bird. Snuffleupagus shook his head. No, Bird, I can't play now. It's time for my nap. And Snuffleupagus went slowly down the street. It is nice to be big, Big Bird said sadly. But sometimes I wish I could make myself smaller. Back at the park, Ernie and Bert were thinking. If only Big Bird were smaller, then he could play with us, said Ernie. Well, we can't make Big Bird smaller, said Bert. But maybe we can make our games bigger like this. And he tied two jump ropes together. Grover ran to get Big Bird. Huh, we have a big surprise for you, said Grover. When Big Bird got to the park, Ernie and Bert were turning the big rope. Jump, Big Bird, said Ernie. Big Bird jumped. The rope went over his head. Hooray for Big Bird, said Bert. Everybody had a turn at jumping rope. Then Betty Lou drew the biggest hopscotch boxes ever. Come on, Big Bird, hop, she said. Big Bird hopped. Then he looked down. I did it right, he said. I did not step on the lines. Hooray for me. Big Bird was really happy until he remembered something. I'm still too big for hide and seek, he said. Then suddenly he smiled. Hey, everybody, he shouted. I do not have to hide. I can be it. I can look for you. Everybody played hide and seek and Big Bird was it. Then they played on the seesaw. Big Bird sat on one end. All his friends sat on the other. The seesaw went up and down. What can we do now? Asked Harry. Let's fly my new kite, said Betty Lou. She held the string and ran and ran and ran. The kite began to fly. It flew higher and higher until it hit the top of a tree. The kite fell down and stuck in the tree. Oh no, cried Betty Lou. Big Bird ran to Betty Lou. Don't cry, he said. I think I can help. Big Bird stood on his tiptoes. He reached high up and pulled down the kite. Here, Betty Lou, said Big Bird. Your kite is as good as new. Hooray, Hooray for Big, Big Bird. Bird! Everyone cheered. Big Bird was very happy. Now, Let's play my favorite game, he said. What game is that? Grover asked. Big Bird smiled. Giant steps. 
Hey guys, Sean here. Thanks for watching Don't Cry Big Bird. This book came highly requested several times in the comments. I saw you guys asking for me to do this book. Glad I could make it happen. Hope you like it. Um, if there's anything else, leave it in the comments. Send me a message. Subscribe to the YouTube channel so you get updates on when I do these videos. There'll be a lot more in 2017. See you guys soon.